There's that one. Does that look dumb? Hello everyone, welcome to another video. It is me Desiree and today it's a very exciting day because I got this big old package from Timu. If you don't know what Timu is, it kind of reminds me of like um, Amazon and Wish mixed together. Like it's one of those kind of websites that sells a million things at very like affordable prices. And Timu did reach out and offered me a credit on the website to buy some planty and garden related items. And it took me a couple of days to sort through all of the stuff that they have because there's so much to choose from. But I bought a bunch of stuff or I got a bunch of stuff and I'm just gonna open up and show you what I got. I did make it a point to make sure I was getting things that were gonna be useful that I was actually gonna want. I didn't wanna just spend it and go, oh, I got all this junk and now I don't know what to do with it. So I did make it a point to get stuff that I thought was useful and that I was actually going to use. And I'm really curious to see the quality of these items as well. Okay, one quick thing I forgot to mention, Timu did give me a discount code to share. The code is DEAL7948, and if you download the app and use the code, you get 50% off of your first order. Everything I show in the video is linked in the description box in case you want to check it out. And don't forget, download the app, use the code, you'll save half off your first order. Okay, back to me. Ooh, I'm so excited. I did kind of make it a point to not remember everything and uh, look at my order all the time because I thought it'd be more exciting just to be like, what the heck did I order? You know what I mean? And if you've ever ordered on Timu, let me know what your experience has been. Um, all of this stuff did say it had pretty decent reviews. I didn't find anything that said like, horrible junk, don't buy it. So I'm really excited. But yeah, oh my gosh, here we go. Let's just dive in. So this is the first thing. It looks like a hook of some sort. What did I get? I got a metal rod. Oh, oh my gosh, it looks like a scary tool. This is a weeder. I'm going to assume there's a packing list in here or something, but this is um, a tool used for weeding and this is like, hardcore metal. I thought this was gonna be made of plastic, to be honest. This is really sharp. So it's meant to like dig in and grab weeds out. I have another one that my grandma gave me that's really good to get the weeds out of like the cracks in between your bricks or your sidewalk and stuff. But this looks like it's gonna be awesome for the ones that just like, you wanna just get in there and rip it out. I'm very excited about this. I completely forgot I even got that, to be honest. Okay, oh, these, I'm really excited about these. So, it's a big pack of them, but it's these little mesh things that you put over the hole in your pot, over your drainage hole, to keep the soil from falling out. I have seen people use these before and I have no idea where they got them from. Maybe they cut them themselves, I don't know. But I saw this big old pack, this is a, it doesn't say how many. There's gotta be a hundred of them in here, if not 50. So you put this over the drainage holes in your pots to keep the soil in there. Um, I have some pots that have a big hole in them and I tend to just put rocks on them or I just hope that the soil doesn't fall out. I'm really, really, really excited about these. These are gonna be awesome. Oh, another thing I'm very excited about. This is a like a little tool to help you seed outside. And I did bring a pack of seeds in here because I wanted to test this out. So this is a little thing that you fill up with seeds in this little container. Let's see, how do I do it? Well, do you turn it? Okay, maybe you, how do you fill it up though? I gotta just pull it off. Okay, maybe, hold on. Oh, okay, so you fill it up with seeds. Let's fill it up. I got some Shasta daisies from Botanical Interest that I completely forgot to plant this summer. Maybe, I have a feeling this only works with like really big seeds because these are small seeds. Let's get them all out. 
Yeah, I have a feeling this only works with big stuff, like maybe um, watermelon seeds or something, because I don't think this is going to work for these little babies. Can I even get this back on? Okay, hold on. How does, okay. No, this is not going to work for these tiny seeds. So it has little numbers on the top, and you turn it to how many seeds you want to come out. So if I wanted one seed to come out, I would go here to the one seed part and then only one seed would fall out. But I'm sure you can see, maybe not, that the hole that's in there is kind of a little too big for these tiny seeds. Maybe not. Let me try it out. You know, it might work. I don't know about with these seeds though because they're really, really staticky. I'm going to try that with some other seeds uh, that I might plant maybe this fall. But I got that because I thought it would be kind of helpful because normally what I do is I just get the pack of seeds and I just go like this or I'll have them in my hand and I just like do this thing and they're all gathered in one big chunk rather than nicely how I wanted them. So I thought this would be handy but I don't know how it's going to work with all kinds of seeds, you know. Another thing I'm very excited about, some grow bags. So any of you guys out there that follow Epic Gardening, um, Kevin always talks about grow bags. He has a whole book about grow bags and how to grow uh, like different vegetables and stuff in a bag. And I don't know, I thought it'd be kind of cool to try potatoes in here. Watch, let me open and show you what it is. They had a ton of different kinds of grow bags. They had plastic ones with windows. They had the fabric ones like this. They had a bunch of them and they all seemed pretty good. I got the 15 gallon one because I thought, I don't know, I wanted the biggest one they possibly had. This feels really good. This feels like really nice quality. It's kind of humongous. I thought it was going to be like small. Okay, this is a huge grow bag. So what you do is you just throw all your soil in here and you plant your stuff in here as if you're planting out in the ground. And it's really nice, like maybe if you're growing on a patio or you don't have a lot of space and you can't grow directly in the ground, a grow bag, a bag like this is really nice because it also helps with air pruning. Um, so that's kind of cool. I, I'm very excited about this. I'm gonna put potatoes in it and see if I could grow some potatoes. And I'm very, very excited. I can't fold it back. It's just gonna have to sit there for now. I'm excited about that. Okay, next up. Oh, seed envelopes. I know all of these so far have been gardening stuff, but I did pick, um, you know, like I said, I wanted stuff that was gonna be useful that I was actually going to use. And a lot of it was gardening stuff. But I'm really excited about these seed envelopes. I really love to save seeds at the end of the season. And I have a lot of seeds right now in those little pill bags, which is fine. I just write it on with the Sharpie, but look how, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I was gonna say authentic, but that's not right. It has seed type variety, the date collected, and growing notes. I'm so excited. Why is stuff like this just so cute? I should've got two of these. I knew I should've got two of these. I'm so excited about those. Okay. I was just gonna say, I'm so excited again, but I can hear, I can see the comments already going, are you excited? Are you? You said it like a hundred times. Yes, I'm excited, okay? This bottle. When I first, first got into plants, the cat's like freaking out for some reason. He saw like a shadow on the wall and he's losing his mind. Anyway, when I first got into plants, everybody had one of these bottles. And it's just a bottle you fill with water and when you squeeze it, the water comes out from here. And I saw people like watering their orchids and different plants like that with one of these. And I always wanted one and I never got one because I always see them for like six or seven or more dollars. But this one was a dollar. I think it was a dollar twenty-five or something, and it's really nice quality. I'm really excited about this. Yes, I'm excited. I just I don't know. I got I want to water stuff like this. The cat is losing his mind. It's so funny. Okay, a really light box. Let's see what's in it. Oh, I think I know what this might be. Yes! Oh my god, no, it's not what I thought it was gonna be, but it's another cute thing. Okay. So if you remember, if you watched my, if you watch all my videos, uh, I showed my, a plant that I bought called a desert rose and my boyfriend thought it looked like a mandrake from Harry Potter and you'll never believe it. 
<laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Look at it. Look at this little thing. It's a mandrake from Harry Potter. Oh my goodness gracious. It's got the little leaves coming out of his head. It's like a little flat like this. You could have it sitting somewhere. I love it so much. And I thought, what are the chances that they would sell this right after I bought a plant that looked like one? I love it so much. I'm gonna put it, would you be able to see it if I put it there? I'm dying, I'm dying. Look at it, I love it, <laughs> I love it so much. Moving on, moving on. This is so exciting. So this package got delivered last night at 8.30, um, but I had to be to work at five this morning, so I had to get up at 3.30 for work. And right when it got delivered, I jumped out of bed because I heard the doorbell and I immediately wanted to open everything. But I knew it would be a whole thing and I really wanted to, um, to film the unboxing because I thought it'd be more exciting. This is something I got for my grandma. I'm hoping it's gonna work. It's um, a macrame hanger. So she has a beautiful plant that she wants to hang from the ceiling, but she keeps mentioning she wants to put it in a macrame. But I don't know anywhere that really sells them year round. Um, I mentioned to her that I'd seen them at Michael's, like end of the season, they put a lot of stuff on clearance, but I didn't see any macrame there. So I got this for her. And I hope it's gonna be a good size. I couldn't really tell. Um, but it looks good. It's good quality too. And I hope she likes it because I got it for her. So if she's watching this video, I probably already took it over there to try it out. I also got two self-watering pots. Oh, are they stuck together? Oh, okay. There's like a, hold on. Hold the phone. Oh, wait. I'm confused. So I got two self-watering pots. These were things I just added because after I had picked everything else that I wanted, I was like, well, I wanna spend the whole credit that they gave me. So I added these on just because. I thought one would be really good for one of my peace lilies that I think will fit perfectly in here. And then I guess this is like the tools you use to set up the pots. These feel really good, like really, really good quality. I thought they were gonna be like flimsy junk. I'm not joking. These feel really good. Um, I'm excited to put these together. I'll probably do a video on transferring my piece lily to a self-watering pot because it really, really needs one. I got another macrame because I got this also for my grandma because I didn't know what kind she would want. Like this one here is just plain with uh, no like frills or anything. And then this one has some cool beads on it and it looks a little like thicker, like it's a different kind of weave. Ooh, this one's nice. It's got like those cool beads in here. It's a different kind of weave. It feels very, very sturdy. Like very, very well made. Like look at that. And then it also came with the S hook and the hook to put it in the ceiling, which is awesome. This is a nice one. Do I want this one? I don't know. Let me put this one back in the bag so I don't forget the, the hardware. We are not done yet, people. We are not done yet. I'm telling you, I spent the whole credit that they gave me and I was able to get a bunch of cool stuff. Okay, next thing. Oh, this is a pulley. I don't know if she's gonna want to use this um, because like I said, my grandma wants to hang the plant from the ceiling. And when you have like a crazy vining plant in a macrame hanger, it's hard to take it out and take it down to water it and have to take it out and everything. And she'll have to like have someone get it down for her or have a step stool. And so I got this because it's supposed to work to like pull the plant down without having to take it off the ceiling. Do you know what I mean? Like it's a pulley system. I don't know, it looks kind of big. I don't know if she's gonna like this, but I got it for her to kind of uh, see if she might want it for that plant. But yeah, I can't really open that or demonstrate it. I got this. I'm like, what else did I get? I got so much stuff. This is frost cloth. So I got this for outside. I'm not gonna open it. It's um, like, it feels like a gauzy type of cloth that you put over your plants or whatever you have outside to kind of keep it from frost. So this is gonna come in really handy, especially when like October, we start getting in, into October and we're gonna have like a, the first frost. And then right after that one frost, we'll have like weeks on end with no other frost. So something to like protect the plants from that one time or for early spring type of cold snaps. I thought this would be kind of 
cool. I did pick the biggest one they had because why not? Um, and I'm really excited about this. I got this mostly for my boyfriend. He was excited about it when I told him too. Uh, yeah. Oh, I gotta go get something to show you what these are. BRB. Okay. What do you think these are for? They're kind of tangled up. Kind of tangled up. They're super tangled up. This looks like a magic trick. You know how they have those things where you're like, how did the rings get unconnected? I can do it. I can figure it out. There we go. What are these for? Do you know what these are? So they are for displaying your air plants. Look at that. So I just have mine laying on my bookshelf like next to my other plants, but now they have their own display. I love it. There's that one. There's this one. I'm surprised this one's still alive to be honest. And then I have this little tiny baby. Oh, <laughs> does that look dumb? Does that look dumb? This one might look dumb. The other two I really like. This one might look a little funny, but cool. So cute. Okay. We're still going people. We're still going. I don't know what this is. I've been staring at this. What is this? There's no description on the bag or anything. What is this? I thought it was like a skeleton, like a, a skeleton I had to put together, like a Halloween thing. Now I'm kind of like, oh, it dawned on me what it is. Could it be? Okay, I think this is the obelisk, obelisk, something like that. It's kind of like, um, it looks like a tomato cage, but it's for like, not a tomato. It's, it's for some other kind of plant. I think that's what this is. I think I just have to put it together myself. I got this for my um, for my honeysuckle, but then I also think it might be good for the blackberry that we have going here on the side of the house because it's growing all crazy and we're just we just keep clipping it to the fence. But I think this might kind of help corral it a little bit. I'll put the picture here of what it looks like put together, but I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Didn't realize I had to put it together myself, but that's fine. Okay, there's two things left, two boxes, and. I only remember one of these items. The, I'm guessing this, that has to be the thing I don't remember. This I think must be the other little statue that I got because it's just so light. The other box, I don't remember at all. I'm very excited to see this. <gasps> okay, I had to get this. <laughs> Look, oh my goodness. It's like a piranha plant or a plant from um, Little Shop of Horrors or something. Isn't this the coolest thing you've ever seen in your life? I love it. This looks a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. I'm just being honest. I thought it was gonna look like cheap junk, but this is so cute. And they had so many cute like horror themed stuff. A lot of it was sold out. Like they had a lot of cool planters. They had a lot of like um, Freddie, Jason and Michael Myers, cute little things, a lot of planty stuff. And this is so, Cute, I have to put this back here somewhere too. I love it, oh my God, it's so cute. Okay, we have one more thing. I don't remember what this last thing is, so it'll be a surprise for both of us. Oh, it's a planter. I completely forgot about this. Okay, <gasps> look at this. This looks amazing. This looks amazing. I'm just being honest here. I thought this was also gonna be cheap junk. I thought it was gonna be like the cheapest plastic thing in the world. Look how cute this is. It has, it looks like it has a drainage hole kind of, like it's, like it has the opening, but it's not coming out of the bottom. So I'll probably just stage two plants in here. Oh my gosh, look at this. Isn't it so cool? And it's like nice hard material. That is so freaking cool. Okay, I love it. Timu, you know what, you did it. I don't think there's one thing here that I was like, uh, the quality, I don't know. Maybe the seed thing, like this, I don't know if it's gonna work for what I wanted, like 
Look how staticky the seeds are and they're stuck all over the lid. We'll have to try it out with different kinds of seeds. This might be the only like dud thing of the whole haul, but everything else I'm so impressed by. I'm, I'm not even joking. I literally thought it was gonna be like cheap junk, cheap crap, but it turned out to be awesome. If you have ever shopped on Timu, let me know some stuff you have found, some cool things, some planty items. I like wanna buy some more of these cool planters. Now that I see the quality, I'm like, holy crap, I should have picked out more of them. Look how cool that is. Okay, anyway, that is it. Thanks, Timu, for the credit. This was so much fun. All of this stuff is gonna be just put to good use. Let me know if you've ever shopped on Timu. Let me know what you think of the products. And everything should be linked, linked in the description box in case you're interested in any of this stuff. Check it out, let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss my next one. And I will see you later in another video.